Hey, and today we're going to do something that's a little bit off topic for this channel, but it's like a little series I'm going to be starting doing um, of little things that annoy me online. The first one today is going to be Facebook. There is a lot of things on Facebook that annoy me, and I'm pretty sure annoy you too. So here's one of them. Number one, the motivational quotes. I mean, when people do a motivational quote, they're like, oh my god, just remember, be yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror before you leave the house today because you're you and nothing but you. Or something on the lines of that and you're just like, okay, that didn't help me at all. I mean, you could be having a pretty bad day, but I don't think a motivational quote is going to help you having a bad day. Let's be serious. Number two, using Facebook as Google. Like for instance, when someone goes, Oh, my car's broken. Where should I go get it fixed? On Facebook rather than Google. You're going to have to wait like a day or two for someone to get back to you. Why don't you just Google it and you can find it there and then. Get the number. Ring them up like a normal person. Rather than waiting and having like a 30 day conversation about how to have an MOT done on your car. Really? Come on. Number three message requests on Facebook. Now, I don't know whether this was incorporated by Facebook for good things, but people I know have had nothing but bad things through message requests. Like, a message request, let me explain, is something that you don't have to be a friend with them on uh, with this person on Facebook. You could have your Facebook on the biggest privacy settings that you even more private than Mark Zuckerberg himself. Yeah. However, Someone can still message you through a request. And as I say, sometimes it can be really annoying because if someone really wants to get hold of you, they'll have your number. Or they'll have, they'll know a friend who has your number. But with a Facebook request message, you're not gonna get it if you have your privacy settings turned up because you won't even have a notification that it's come through. The only way you can get to it is if you go on your message requests. I didn't even know they existed until six months ago. And apparently it's been a thing for a while now. So that needs to be sorted. That annoys me. Number four. Okay. People that think that Facebook is life. Now I don't have a problem with people that are on Facebook all the time. I used to be that person. Not so much anymore. But I used to be that person. So I don't really want to be a hypocrite. However, there are people that want to upload their life on Facebook. Pictures, statuses about a holiday or something like that, that's fine, that's what Facebook's for, for sharing memories with friends and family. However, you walking your dog down the road and it rained, I don't care. I, I don't care. Little things like that really annoy me. As I say, I used to be that person, but not anymore, because I realised there is more to life than social media. Speak to people in person rather than over a keyboard. It is a lot more fun. Trust me. Number five. People that use Facebook as Twitter. Okay, this really grates on me. I've just spoken to a few people, this annoys them too, okay? People that seem to think that hashtagging everything on Facebook means it's cool. Once again, as a joke and as a part of a little thing, I used to do that. It was fun. But then I realized how annoying it really is. If I wanted to see hashtag life, hashtag going out, hashtag epic goals, hashtag squad, I would go on Twitter. If I want to see a picture of someone or a family or friends on holiday enjoying themselves in, I don't know, Las Vegas or whatever, I'll go on Facebook. If I want to see hashtags, hashtag life goals, boop, then I would go on Twitter. Number six, game requests. Now, I've blocked these myself, and it took me a long time to work out how to block them, okay? But people that send you game requests, share this for 10% life or 10 XP. I don't care about your farm on Farmville. I don't care about your jelly beans on Candy Crush. No one cares. Seven. Is poking even still around on Facebook? Like, seriously. <laughs> like... I remember, I mean, I'm a lot older now, but I remember when I was 18 and I was in college and poking people on Facebook. 
It was like, hey, hey. It was just like annoy that annoying friend that you used to get used to go, hey, 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 hey. Wanna go out sometime? Hey, hey. It's annoying. But I even to this day I am still getting poked by people on Facebook. Stop! Number eight. The chain messages. Now, these have been going for, I can't remember how long. I think these have even been going since the world of Bebo and MySpace. Chain messages are annoying. Like, seriously. Like, they'll tell you this whole story about this girl from 1872 in West Virginia in America. And then they'll say, if you don't share this with 10 friends, she will come out of your closet at 6 a.m. when she got killed. And I'm like, if that really happened, half of the population of this world would not be here because of the fact none of us care. Number nine, people posting opinions. Okay, I am the first to admit that everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Fair play. I have my opinion and someone in another part of the world might not have the same opinion as me. Or even five minutes down the road. That's fine. I am cool with that. But it's people that try to get their opinion across so much where they are trying to convince you to change your opinion. That's not right. And last but not least, this is my main one. Number 10, relationships on Facebook. I understand that people want to show their partner off. I do the same. I get that. But this whole Facebook official thing is beyond a joke. Like people from my generation, I'm in my late, I'm in my mid 20s and people from my generation, people from my brother's generation, which is a lot younger, all share the same opinion and it's not on. For instance, people don't seem to think that anyone is official in a relationship unless it's on Facebook. What is that about? Like seriously. If like, I've heard conversations where people go, is it on Facebook yet? Oh, it's not official. Seriously? So you're, once again, going back to something else I spoke about earlier, I'm ranted about, you're gonna let social media claim your life? Like, I, I admit, once again, when I was younger, I would do that. Facebook official, yes, I'm in a relationship. But when you get older, you think to yourself, do you know what, there is a lot more to life? than sitting behind a keyboard or in front of a smartphone. Go out and live your life. Share what you want. But don't think that, you know, competition on Facebook with relationships is a good thing, because it's not. Like, I know a few people from my past and my present that seem to think it's a good idea to go, oh, I done this today, and I done this today. What have you done? It's not a competition. Okay, a relationship is about two people, not four, five, six, however many of you are in a friendship circle. It doesn't matter. Okay guys, that was it. Um, I'm gonna start a little series. It was more of a rant today. Um, I think I'm gonna start a series of me ranting on different things. Um, if you enjoy it, give it a big thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want more of these rant videos in a series, please let me know. Take care guys, peace.